to be the chairman of this local organizing conference committee. In Rotary, we say that the reward for hard work is more work. So when I was selected for this job, I took it with all the joy and responsibility it required. Because I understand I did an honor to be asked to share this committee that will bring all Rotarians throughout Nigeria under one roof. We have worked very hard. We have done everything possible to make sure that you relax, that you have a beautiful conference. I can assure you that the local organizing committee did not leave anything on tongue, any stone on tongue, to make sure that you enjoy this conference. And therefore, we ask all of us to please relax and enjoy the conference. You are welcome to this conference. For us in Rotary, uh, Rotary is an international organization. And uh, today, all the districts in Nigeria, District 9110, District 9141, 9142, and 9125, are coming together to share fellowship with each other, rekindle our friendships across the districts, because we are all one, and share ideas on how to do our work better. So the essence indeed is this for us to reconnect with our fellow Rotarians who are doing good across our different districts and open up more opportunities of partnerships, friendships and collaborations to ensure that we do our work better. That's really why we're here. It has as one of its core values leadership. So Rotary is an organization that professes good leadership. Uh, we are an organization that trains people and members, young, young, young uh, leaders for tomorrow, on how to be good leaders for tomorrow. So we'll continue to project our leadership um, styles to the, to, the, to the whole world. For example, in Rotary we have a three-year succession plan, so in Rotary there is no struggle about who is going to be the next leader. And we also use it as an opportunity to uh, spread peace and uh, conflict resolution, because one of our uh, main areas of focus is peace building and conflict resolution. So we also want to profess, we can ensure that wherever we find ourselves as Rotarians, in whichever community Rotary exists, that it remains a peaceful community, and we continue to encourage peace across our things. And of course, as Rotarians, we believe in voting wisely and intelligently at, the, at election time. So we'll also keep projecting and advocating for people to come out and vote intelligently, and vote with their consciences so that we get the right leaders in place. Well, the gathering of today is a unique gathering because it is a gathering of all Rotary members, all clubs in Nigeria. Nigeria has four districts, Nigeria has about 15,000 Rotarians, and Nigeria has over 400 clubs. And all the people that are gathered here are representative of all this in Nigeria. Yes, the team for today is Uniting Nigeria Through Rotary. And one of the areas of focus of Rotary International is the peace and conflict resolution. And what we do as Rotarians is that we ensure that we allow the change to begin amongst ourselves. And we allow this to impact our communities and the environment that we find ourselves. When we are able to practice peace, when we are able to practice change amongst ourselves, then we now translate it to the community that we have. We help promote peace in our community. We help in ensuring that we provide those that we can train, those that we can pick out of the community to also be tutored on how they can be peaceful and also how they can promote peace in their community. And whenever they go back to their community, they begin to also bring out other people that can bring peace to that community. Like you said, Rotary is about humanitarian activities. Uniting Nigeria has to do with humanity, has to do with humanitarian activities. What we are trying to do here is to see how our act of service, we can use it to bring people together. Art of giving, spirit of giving we have, we can use it to bring Nigerians together. We preach love, we preach peace and world understanding. If we can be doing that as well, why not in Nigeria? So that is why we are saying uniting Nigeria through Rotary. Rotary has always been a frontliner when it comes to advocacy, we do our 
spread our network to reach to communities. Our Rotarians are spread across the Federation. Though, when you talk of number, we are less than 20,000, we are about 16,000, but we are spread across the Federation. We can reach out to the communities, we can preach peace, that it is only in a peaceful atmosphere progress can be made. We believe in supporting education, promoting good causes, fighting diseases, exactly uh, those objectives that um, the Rotary Club represents. Um, so um, we are doing all that we can to ensure that um, uh, in spite of the challenges of um, jobs, uh, unemployment, and uh, all the ills um, that uh, the youth go through, being the most significant component of, uh, of the country, about um, close to 70%, uh, we should develop programs that will help uh, in fulfilling some of these objectives of uh, promoting peace, of um, supporting education, and of course developing local economies through programs um, like uh, the deal, you know, promoting digital skills and acquisition, uh, promoting um, entrepreneurship and uh, employability and uh, leadership, uh, which is the essence of uh, some of the programs that the ministry is putting together, and helping uh, to project good courses, giving opportunities to young ones to be able to fulfill their dreams and also contribute their own uh, quota. Uh, to develop to the development of, uh, of the country. These are some of the objectives that align uh, with what we do and what uh, the Rotaract uh, Club also represents in projecting these things. Um, and I believe that uh, particularly the youth component of our ministry, um, we know that um, if you can take care of the youth, if you can keep the youth positively engaged, they are very strong, they are very powerful, the pace at which they want to move is, is, um, is uh, quite remarkable. So if we are able to initiate programs, uh, initiate policies, and uh, get, a look, get a lot more of these youth um, engaged. Let me give an example. Uh, one of the programs that we have initiated is the Nigeria Youth Investment Fund, NYIF, uh, which is um, to provide about 75 billion uh, Naira soft loans to the youth. Um, helping them to get between 300,000 to close to, to a little over a million. If you can get the youth to do that, it helps them to be self-starters. And their contributions to the economy will be massive. So it's, it, if you do that, you can be sure that the energies that the youth have uh, to contribute to this country's um, development will really propel us uh, in the right direction.